everybody, welcome back to my channel. Quick thing about the lighting, it's very, very bright today and I've had to pull the, bright, the blinds right down. So the lighting's a little bit weird, I'm sorry about that, but it's a lovely sunny day. I shouldn't really be complaining. So today we are talking about how to connect to cast and directors in the year of 2021. To be honest, most of these tips will probably apply to whatever year you're watching this in, but if I've done a new updated video, then I'll obviously pop it in the description below or I'll pop it in the little eye so you can have a little watch of that. If there's anything new that I um, haven't covered in this video. So connecting to cast and directors is a fantastic way of building a relationship, especially if you don't necessarily have an agent sometimes the best way to start to get castings is to try and connect to casting directors now i'm going to put this out there straight away please 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 do not bombard them they are very busy people they don't always have the time to reply to every single message email that comes in they definitely don't do calls so i'm just going to put that out there as my first tip don't even attempt to call them obviously this is very much advice for people in the uk i'm not entirely sure of what it's like in other countries so just bear that in mind as well so i'm going to jump in with the first tip so the first way to connect to cast and directors is via email now as i said please try not to bombard them when you send an email i suggest that you do it with an intention you've got a reason why you're emailing them so don't just email them say hi i'm an actor here's my headshot Here's my show reel. So reasons to email cast and director could be that you've just had some new headshots done, you've had a new show reel that you've done, you are in something that has just been released and you obviously want to spread the word about it so you can email the casting directors a link or you know information if you know, you're in a theatre production or something, you know, you can email them the details. If you can, then try and get them like a free ticket because sometimes that's a great incentive. If they've got a free ticket, then more likely to go. So basically when you're emailing casting directors is more of like an update thing. And then it's great because they can say, okay, right, I've got this person's um, showreel on file and I can go back to that and watch that and you've made that connection. Now, like I said before, don't expect a reply to your email. I find it's very, very rare that I will send out um, like an update email to casting directors and I actually get a reply. Sometimes I do and it's really, really lovely, but I don't expect one because as I said, they're really busy people. Don't think that they've not necessarily seen your email because most of the time they had, they've put the stuff on file or they've watched it and then put it on file and then they've just gone about their day and carried on with castings because they're busy. So don't freak out and don't continuously email saying, well, did you get my email? Because they probably did. They just didn't have time to answer your email. So the second way to connect with casting directors is through workshops. This is such a great way to get in front of a casting director that you like and show them what you can do. So I've mentioned the Actors Guild a lot in the past. I do a lot of their workshops and I highly recommend them if you are applicable to be signed up on the site. So I think you have to have either had formal training or have at least three past credits. So if you've got those and you can join the Actors Guild, they do like a free membership and they do a paid one. I find that their workshops are really, really beneficial because I've been to some before that are free and you get like a minute with the casting director and the workshop might be three hours long and you've literally been there for three hours and you only get to see them for a minute and that's it that's all you get whereas i find with the actors guild ones the casting directors will really spend time actually working with you which is fantastic so what will happen is they'll probably send out a scene or a script for you to learn and then when you come in you'll either perform it by yourself you'll perform it with another actor and i have to say as well the caliber of the actors that go to these actors guild workshops are really really good they will um give you feedback which is really great and you get to network with other actors as well obviously if you don't have it all either formal training or the experience that i talked about then there are lots of other great ones um i've heard really really good things about mixing networks you do pay for those but i think anyone can go to those that's probably one that i would recommend there's loads of online ones that are starting to pop up as well especially during you know lockdown there's one where you can do monologues for casting directors so it's just a great way to show them what you can do and that's the thing they know you now they've met you then you know what they're like and then they're more likely to bring you in it's not a guarantee 
but it definitely, definitely helps. So that's a really, really great way. If you can put some money aside for workshops, I highly recommend it. Another way to connect with casting directors is through social media. Most casting directors now are on social media, especially Twitter and Instagram. A couple of them still have Facebook pages as well. But I highly recommend that because firstly, you can kind of gauge them as a person because they might put little snippets of their life or what they've thought of a certain film that they've watched or something like that. And you can kind of chit chat with them about that. Again, obviously don't bombard them and don't, oh, it's really annoys me when people will reply to a tweet if the casting director has said something about a casting, like people not turning up or you know, making the most of opportunities. And then you see all these actors underneath tweeting, oh, I, I won't let you down if you if you bring me in for an audition because it just sounds so desperate. It's just not great. Create a genuine relationship with them. They are people at the end of the day. They are not this high up royalty that is untouchable. They are lovely people. So just talk to them like normal people. And as well, the other great thing is, is if you don't have an agent, sometimes they will put out open castings on their socials so that you can go on there and see if you're applicable for anything that they're casting at the moment. And then again, that's just another great way to get an audition and get through the door and actually start to be cast by them, which is excellent. So really use social media for good and follow some casting directors because you never know what might come from it. Now the last two ones are ones that I've only kind of recently been trying in the last year or so. The first one is IMDb Pro. Now I didn't get IMDb Pro for a long while and then during lockdown I decided to just go for it and see what happened mainly because you can obviously add photos and videos to your IMDb profile if you're on IMDb. To get on IMDb, you need to have a um, feature credit in something. They do a pro membership where you pay a certain amount per year. But the really cool thing I like about it is that you can create connections with other people in the industry. So for instance, if I've worked on a project and then I go on to another actor's page, I can see who we've worked with mutually over the past how many years which is great for networking, but also as well casting directors are on there. And the great thing is, is that you can see what they are starting to cast before it necessarily goes onto places like Spotlight and the other casting platforms. So I find that IMDb Pro is brilliant because if I know that someone is gonna be casting something, I can go to my agent, this person is casting this, and I would love to see if I can get a role in that and maybe my agent could push me if there's a role that I'm suitable for. And lastly, this is one that is very new to me, is Flarebox. So Flarebox is almost kind of half casting platform, half kind of online social media profile for your work. So basically what you do is you can upload photos and you can upload footage. Now, on the free version, which is what I've got, you can only upload, I think, maybe one photo and one video reel. So what I've done is I put my headshot on there and I put my show reel as my clip. And that's really, really great because then if anything's coming up, well, I have a cast and director can go onto there, they can see my show reel just like they would if they were on Spotlight. But obviously this is great as well for people who don't necessarily have the credits to be able to go onto Spotlight because now Spotlight have really tightened up their membership requirements for what you have to have to be accepted on Spotlight. Flarebox is another great option and obviously you pay for Spotlight. So if you wanted to pay for the premium membership of Flarebox, then I think it would be a really great alternative for actors who can't get onto Spotlight at the moment. And the other thing as well is that they do quite a lot of things with casting directors. I see quite a lot popping up. They do competitions. You can submit a video reel or a scene or something like that. And then, um, you know, someone wins the opportunity to have a meeting with this casting director. And it's not just, you know, any random casting director. They have some really good cast, well-established casting directors on there. And as well, they put out castings. So you can obviously submit yourself for roles which is a really great idea. Um, so I wanted to mention that as well because I've only just started to get into that. I'm not paying for it at the moment because obviously I pay for Spotlight, but I find it's really, really great just to have my showreel on there. It's just another place to have a good presence. So obviously if cast and directors are looking on Flarebox, then having a profile on there is probably another great way to 
get yourself connected to casting directors. So there we go, those are my tips for how to get connected to casting directors. I really, really hope you found this useful. If you've got any questions at all, just pop them down below. These are just things that I have found have worked for me when I have been working with casting directors and how I've been networking with them over the years. Please do give this a video a thumbs up if you liked it and do subscribe if you are new. I do lots of acting videos like this along with some fashion, beauty and lifestyle as well. And I will see you in my next video. Hopefully when the sun isn't shining so brightly and I have to have the blinds down so much. But anyway, we made it work. <laughs> Bye.